E. Golo, Don M. Dolo. What am I saying? E it's like I'm speaking another language. E e golo don em dolo. E golo don em dolo literally means put your skin in my hand or give me some skin or give me some dap or give me five. Do, do our kids, what do our kids think about the action of give me some? <coughs> it's cool. Why is it cool? Do our kids do it? Do our kids walk down the halls when they greet and they give them a little, a little fist bump? Do they give them some dap, do they give them a, 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 a something with their hands? And they think it's cool, why? Because their parents didn't do it. Right, right, they, they think that, wonderful. And, they, and do they think it's cool? They think it's cool because their parents didn't do it and they think the phrase belongs to whom? Them. They think that phrase, they think this action, they think this is theirs. And the second they see their parents doing it, what will happen? They'll stop. The second that we go around and we give each other some, if they walk down the streets of Greenville with their parents, can I get an amen? And they saw all of us walking up to our business colleagues and saying, instead of good morning and shaking your hand, give me some, man, and do this, what will our kids do? They'll move on to something else because it doesn't belong to them. What they don't know is we've been given high fives. Can I get an amen? amen? For a generation. So in reality, it belongs to us, correct? What we don't know is that the phrase or the action of give me some, egolo don dolo is another language. Anyone want to take a guess what language? Latin. Latin, a wonderful guess. Very wrong. Wonderful guess. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It starts with an S, ends with Wahili. Anyone? Swahili, good. Igolo Dolandolo is Swahili for give me some skin. So that language, that phrase, that form of greeting is another language, Swahili, from another continent, Africa, in another culture, in another time over a thousand years ago. In fact, when the Swahili city-states were formed, they were formed by Bantu traders in the middle of Africa, coming to the East African coast to trade to foreigners. They formed a language known as Swahili, and when those Swahili city-state citizens greeted each other each morning, what did they say? Igolo donim dolo, good morning, give me some. And my name is Mike Fanning. I used to teach 10th grade world history to 14-year-olds with the attention span of a gnat. I had to teach every single thing that ever happened since the dawn of man and womankind up until when? Yesterday, you've seen our curriculum, every single thing in the history of the world in one year to 14-year-olds with the MTV generation attention span of a gnat. And so in order to somehow introduce the Swahili city-states without them saying, oh, that is boring, I had to connect somehow with those kids. I had to show them that something about those Swahili city-states connects with them and their life. Somehow, something that they got from the city-states city, city is a part of who they are today. Because if I can do that, I can convince them, if you hang with Mr. Fanning a little longer, that maybe we'll find something else that's cool that came from the Swahili city-states. And so I'm here today to challenge you to help me make a connection uh, this morning. Anyone see where I put my clicker? Here we go. Uh, a clicker. We've got some connections to make in the state of South Carolina. And so I'm going to ask you to help me this morning think about making a connection between these two quotes that never happened in Greenville. They just happened in Rock Hill and Chester and Lancaster and Fairfield. But where I'm from, I hear these two things all the time. The state of South Carolina ain't got no money. And the other thing we hear, that I know y'all never hear this, but in Chester and in Fairfield and in York County, we hear our taxes are too high. Now, I don't know about you. If my taxes are too high, the state ought to have lots of what? Money. And if the state's got a lot of money, then the tax is too high. If the state has no money, my taxes ought to be what? Low. And so those are two disconnected phrases that are being spouted all across the state. 
and our communities are talking about the fact that, that in today's economy, our taxes are too high. But in addition to that, our state is broke. And I'm here to challenge you today to think about whether these statements are true or false.